It's got a work hard, play hard vibe. Yeah, this is a Jabba. Maybe this is a younger Jabba who, you know, just, he's not about that gangster life. He wants to go out to the club. All right, friends, we're gonna draw. We're drawing Star Wars from memory today. We're gonna try this a little differently. We're gonna draw and then like do a new layer for each one so that I can space them out a little bit better. Um, but we do need to figure out what our first Star Wars-y thing is. So this can be people, this could be things. I don't really know. But if you have a suggestion, throw it out there and we'll give it a try. Boba Fett, good old Bob Feet, coming back. Now Bob Feet is on a shelf back there somewhere, but I can't, don't think I can see him. All right, Bob Feet. All right, so uh, Boba Fett. The key to Boba Fett is this. Little shape here. By like making that, we're like 90% to Boba Fett. All right, so then for Boba Fett, we need to have like this shape. Whoop. Boom. Boba Fett. Way better, good. All right, but then he also has like this thing. All right, so then Boba Fett needs to have like a gun. We're anti-violence here, but we're pro Star Wars, so it sort of works out. And who knows how he holds a gun. We're just gonna make a very clear good gun. Give him a little hand here. Definitely 100% Bob Feet. We'll just bend that wrist in an unnatural fashion. Oh yeah, that's that's about a fat arm if I've ever seen one. And we'll make him very aggressive. Give him some pretty solid legs. Let's fix up this arm a little bit. Notice how his arm bent four directions. Very good. How does one make a wrist work like this? I suppose they don't. They draw it properly. There you go, very realistic. Thank you. And we'll get him a very fancy tie for his cape, which I'm sure he has. We'll just like let his cape be super. We we're trying to draw a cape. The trick is to draw these like diminishing return shapes. For those of you don't know, I'm calling him Bob V because autocorrect has tended when we worked on Boba Fett before to give us Bob Feet. Give him a little bit of like definition. He also needs like classic Mandalorian armor of some kind, so we're just gonna like draw in like a chest here. Very accurate. Give him another glove up here. Very Invader Zim kind of gloves. It feels that way with the. Uh, This is a, I'll get you Han Solo if it's the last thing I do, vibe. Those are legitimate arms, definitely real arms. The exact way you draw arms in anatomy. Let's get him like some shoulder armor here of some kind. Again, if you want anatomy lessons, find someone trying not to have fun. There he is, Bob Feet. Boba Fett. Looking fine and ready to enjoy the day. Cheers, friends. And now we're gonna draw Tauntaun. Tauntaun, okay, so a couple things about Tauntauns that come to mind. First of all, they need to have really big, hairy bodies. So, we're gonna start by doing that. You need to have like, big old arms. Wait, so wait, no, 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 the Tauntaun is what they... 
Wait, the hoth creature is the monster. The tauntaun is the thing they sleep inside. Which one are we doing? Are we doing the like camel or the beast in the cave? Because the beast in the cave is not a tauntaun. The tauntaun is something else. Because I've clearly started drawing not a tauntaun, but the other thing. Because I thought we were drawing the other thing. I just named it wrong. All right, so we're gonna just create this head shape and then we'll go about making some kind of face for this very accurate monster. Hmm, I have a theory that I need to extrapolate. I think we're gonna go with, so, the core question that remains, and I think I know the answer, so I've got an answer for myself, it could be wrong. Is this, um, I'll get you to the second, Mr. Frightful. Is this a hairy beast that's chest and like belly is exposed? Or is it just pure fear, fur? I'm going with chest and belly because of the way the hands and feet go. Uh, so I'm using Procreate, on my iPad, and I am using a thing called Air Play Screen Mirroring Receiver, which I bought off the Microsoft Store. <coughs> it works fine. As long as your security software is up to date. Okay, so for this to work, we need to create a little bit of this. So there's just room for critical things such as belly buttons and nipples. All the things you want in a horrible creature. Oops. GOS, am I right? What do we think? Is this, is this what stream has become? It's the first nipple on stream. Notably called the first, which means it implies that there will be more. I, mean, I guess there's gonna be a second one right now. In retrospect, now that I say that. Those nipples are not the same. Which is a, a certain form of delight, I think. And then we need to get like a... Sort of belly button thing. The same sort of thing here, but we're gonna start with a like furrowed eyebrow of hair. That's right, this wampa has bangs! Then we need some like ears because that's sensible. And then it needs to have like a upturned. Oh no, it needs to be like ape like. It needs to have like big old nostrils. Right? And then we follow the shape of those nostrils to really make the creature. Something like that. Then we overemphasize the shape of the mouth, make a big sort of space here, and then add a little bit of like a beard vibe. It does look just like a human. Now that we're gonna make small Neanderthalic eyes. Actually, we're gonna make small but wide Neanderthalic eyes. What do we think? Very accurate Wampa. Something happened in the face. I'm not sure what. But it is what it is. He went real like, real fine on the teeth. Weird. All right, friends, I'm gonna take a quick break. You just enjoy whatever this is. 100% screen accurate. I know, George Lucas himself couldn't draw it this accurate. But now we're drawing Max Rebo's tour bus. Now Max Rebo, as we all know, and I had to ask, is the musician who leads the band. So uh, for a tour bus in space, there are some obvious things we need. First of all, we need a, just a very basic bus shape. So we're just gonna like get in here and bus it up.
Max Rebo's tour bus. Max Rebo, of course, being the Star Wars Cantina guy. And apparently in the extended universe, there is a picture of his tour bus. And uh, I assume it looks exactly like this. So why wouldn't it have Han Solo and Chewbacca leading the way? Because uh, it's a bus. It's a tour bus. Why does it have wheels? Seems like the kind of question a non-true Star Wars fan would ask. Yeah, notably the the wheels are low are higher than the giant um, hyperdrive on the back, so the wheels aren't going to work properly once we get to true space. We'll get a little bit more details. They do go round and round, Mr. Frightful. Should we look to see what this thing actually looks like? Is there a picture? Do you think we can find one? All right, let's see if we can find one. We're doing Max Rebo. Rebo's Tour Bus. Well, I got Max Rebo wrong. There are no pictures of his tour bus, as far as I can tell. Hey, Jabba the Hutt. So Jabba the Hutt is like a gross space worm, right? So like Jabba the Hutt is basically a muffin top on top of many muffin tops. And one of the muffin tops has like creepy arms. Right? And then he's just sort of like another muffin top. We'll thicken up these lines in a second. Right? Like just a little bit extra. And then he turns into a slug. The bottom. So we'll just like give him some real fatty fat shapes. And then just sort of layer him on top of himself. Like that. Alright, so. He needs to have like, I'm a frog and I'm so tired eyes. Right? But he needs to be evil too. So we're going to give him like, a bit of a like, a furrowed brow. And then he's got to be like, Oh, my existence is so pain that my eyes are always cross eyed because I'm so big. But we're still going to give him the light in his eyes because you know what? Jabba needs love too. Make him a uh, sensitive. Big eyes, he's tired. Yeah, we're gonna give him some bags under his eyes, too. I've just been running space for so long. I need a break. Chuka solo. I don't remember what Jab of the Hut has for uh, nose. So we're just gonna give him. Oh yeah, he definitely has a nose like this. We give him snake nose, and then big old smile, and fat cheeks. And then we'll like open his mouth ever so slightly. So his stupid gross tongue can stick out like he always does. Yeah. We'll just like fill in that gap. So you really get the gross tongue. Blech. And then he needs like double chins to the max. It's got a work hard, play hard vibe. Yeah, this is a Jabba. Maybe this is a younger Jabba who, you know, it's just, he's not about that gangster life. He wants to go out to the club. 
I need to make a bunch of like generic silhouettes, some alien shapes. That's exactly right. This is the uh, Star Wars Footloose mashup that we've always wanted and never got a chance to see. All right, all right, one more. It's a trap, my friends. We're drawing General Akbar now. Akbar is a fish man, right? So fish man have fish head. Uh, so I think he has like this sort of thing, and then he has like we're gonna give him some eyebrows. That eyebrow has to be. Oh, my erase is too big. I'm gonna draw up some eyebrows. Give him like a little bit of shaping. Right? So then he's got like fish eyes, which just means that they have no color in them. Right? And then he's like fish, so he's got no. Why is my. Oh, I actually turned that to white. He's got no nose. Oh no, he's got to have like a little bit of like crustacean shaping. His nose has got to live there. And then he's got to be saying, it's a trap. Something like that. And uh, he's got a tongue because he's saying it's a trap so dramatically. No teeth because fish man, right? These are all rules that we all know from art. I don't have to explain them to you. You all art so well. We'll give him some like forehead ridges just to give him some extra character in class. And then um, All right, let's get his eyes some life before we get too far. Otherwise, we'll be sorely mistaken and frustrated. Okay, now he wears a space like suit, which is both like traditional space suit e vibes, but it also has like professional spaceman vibes as well. So he's got his space collar. Right? And then, of course, a space tie, if I remember correctly, which I obviously do, because I only draw 100% accurate recreations of characters. There's always a moment when we're doing these where it goes from like, what if he had eye fins instead of eyebrows? That is the most insane thing I ever heard. Tatson, I have a lot of questions. Uh, so he has to be Terrified. Oh, what have we done? Uh oh. Pointing. Mistakes were made. Give him a space belt. Keep his space fish pants up. He's really cool and really insensitive. After Empire Strikes Back, he went and got for himself a miniature Death Star belt buckle. Really insensitive to the people of Alderaan, but really cool looking. This is the kind of guy that Admiral Akbar was. Sells propane and propane accessories. <laughs> but damn it, Bobby, it's a trap. <laughs> and then with this hand, which will be a flipper. He's pointing to the trap.
Admiral Akbar. Space businessman. Uh, I could change it to carp. I am tempted by that, Betsy. I am tempted. But it's already one step removed from it's a trap already. Maybe I'll change it in the render. I'm worried that it'll lose its connection. All right, let's take a moment to check out all the wonderful things we did on the stream today. We'll figure that out in a second. All right, what did we draw first? We started with Boba Fett. Boba Fett looking good, happy. You think he might be short? He's not, he's, he's, they did Hobbit tricks to make him look tall. What else did we draw here? We drew a Wampa, just a beautiful creature uh, here to kill Luke Skywalker and to make sense of the fact that he had a horrible accident in between number four and number five. And so he got attacked by a Wampa, which is basically a car. So, you know, we made that lovely friend. First nipples draw on stream too. Uh, achievement unlocked TOS. Um, we're proud of, of the nipples we drew today. Um, as it should be. We drew uh, Max Rebo's uh, fantastic tour bus flying through space with his Captain Han Solo Chewbacca. We didn't draw Max Rebo though, apparently. Or did you draw Pat? We drew Jabba the Hutt at a club. This is a young Jabba before he took to a life of smuggling and crime. He said, Dad, I don't want to do that. I want to dance. He said in Hutti, so it was more like, Chuka, Chuka, Luthor, to dance. <laughs> yeah, he's wonderful. He's a good friend of ours. Um, and last but not least, we drew Admiral Akbar saying it's a tarp. Our lovely fishy businessman, complete with Death Star belt buckle, because you know, he's a real jerk. But he's the boss, so what are you gonna do, right? We'll be back next Tuesday for drawing cartoons from the 90s from memory. Have your suggestions. We'd love to see them. And of course, till next time, friends. Keep being awesome. Still don't have an end screen, so it's sort of like disaster. But I want to make sure we get there before I end the stream. So we're just going to sit here with me.